Hello everyone, this is Sherwin here from TechOS and today I'm going to be taking a look at the new notification center and lock screen setup in iOS 11. Now, in iOS 11 the notification center and control center have sort of been merged together into one so it's a little bit confusing to understand at first but hopefully uh, in this video I'll try and help you understand it better and I'll walk you through how it works so you can um, be more familiar, familiar with it. So, obviously you can um, if I lock my device here and if I go ahead and wake it up you'll see obviously what's traditionally known as the lock screen so you can slide from left to right to access your widgets, your sorry, your camera and from left to right and you can access your widgets. I haven't actually unlocked my iPad at the moment so it won't actually let me view my widgets but if I put my finger over the home button but don't press it so just so it, the padlock disappears from the top I can slide over and access my widgets. So we, we're familiar with that from iOS 10, that's been out for a year now. However, a new trick in iOS 11 um, comes in the form of what I'm going to show you next. So if I have my device uh, asleep, and then if I wake it up, go to the lock screen, and now what I do is if I unlock my device with Touch ID but don't press the home button, so again, so it just gets rid of the padlock up there, I can now slide upwards and reveal all my notifications. So instead of sliding down from the top, I can now access it from here when I'm on the lock screen. So here I've got all my previous notifications, and if I slide back up, these are my notifications for my very recent ones, the ones that have just sort of come through. Um, and if I go back to this panel up here with all my notifications, as I said, this is basically the lock screen. So I can slide across to access my camera, like I would be able to do on a lock screen, and slide across to access my widgets panel. So that's the same, just like if you're on the lock screen. So now if I press the home button to go into my home screen, so this has now completely unlocked my device, as you would do if you're just going about using your iPad or other iOS device. And if I slide down from the top of the device, uh, how I, which is how I would usually invoke notification center, I will see something very similar to what I just saw and it looks very much like the lock screen and that's basically as I said because they've been merged so I can see my recent notifications now this will probably be useful if you've got say a really f an iPhone with the second generation touch ID or the new iPad Pro and it unlocks very quickly but you missed your notification so you can just come down here and all your recent notifications that would have been on that lock screen are now over here however as with earlier I can slide up to access all my notifications, just take a bit of hit and miss as, of, as and when you can slide up. But here you go, I've got all my previous notifications and I can continue browsing them as I've done before. If I slide up, I get back to this view, however I'll stay in here for now. Now as I said, this is the lock screen, so I can slide across to my camera again as we did earlier, and my widgets panel. So it's all still there, and that's basically it for the notification center and lock screen. Uh, so it's sort of merged together and it is confusing at, at the beginning however once you get the hang of it it is easy to use and I've, I've got used to it over the last well I think it's just a week now since I've been using iOS 11 so it really doesn't take long it's just sort of confusing at first and might um, throw you a bit but anyway that's it for this video if you've got any questions on anything in this video or if you just want any other general Apple help with your devices then do let me know by leaving a comment in the comment section of this video you can also get in contact with me using the details that are in the description of this video don't forget to like this video and also comment and also do subscribe by hitting the logo in the middle of the screen and also do consider watching the videos either side of that logo stay tuned for more videos on iOS 11 and macOS High Sierra Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.